Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Kyle here at the Chicago Auto Show and we are taking a look at the 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander. Now as that name suggests, this is a larger version of the existing Highlander SUV with more space in the back for third row passengers, a little more cargo room, and as well as that, a new powertrain. How about we take a look? Okay, so first things first, the important numbers. The Grand Highlander is about 6.5 inches longer than the existing model, plus around two inches wider and taller. Nearly all of that length has gone into making the third row a more hospitable place. In fact, way back legroom is now just a hair shy of the number in the big Sequoia, and headroom beats it. I could explain more, but I'll just share my experience from the pre-show launch. This is me in the back of the third row. Um, honestly, it's not terrible. Uh, I know I look a little cramped in here, but actually it's, it's fine. My, my head's touching the roof. My knees are touching the seat backs, but uh, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm fine. I'm fine. And really that's a lot better than what we can say about the existing Highlander. There's more storage space behind the seats too. And even the second row sees a slightly improved experience, at least in the top platinum trim. A large panoramic roof means there's no odd bump in the ceiling like in other regular Highlander trims. It will be pretty easy to spot the Grand Highlander on the road as well. Not only is it a bigger rig than the non-Grand model, it features wholly different bodywork despite sharing the same TNGA-K platform. The GH trades out the smooth surfaces, narrowed lights, winged grille, and supra-aping rear shoulder of its little brother for a blockier, simpler look. A flat window line makes for better sight lines, not to mention an increased sense of space inside. We especially like the additional glass in the rear doors, ensuring the C-pillar isn't too big. The rectangular headlights and taillights and gaping front grille align more closely with the RAV4 and 4Runner. Meanwhile, the angled D-pillar and its lower shot line in particular are pure RAV4. Wheel sizes are 18 inches on the lowest trim, and then they're 20s everywhere else. The Grand Highlander Platinum at the event runs an exclusive engine you won't find in its baby brother. The hybrid max powertrain is similar to the one in the Crown, which pairs the 2.4 liter turbo four with an integrated electric motor and six speed auto up front with a dedicated, more powerful electric motor at the rear. The combined figures are 362 horsepower and an even 400 pound feet of torque, which Toyota points out is the most power it's ever put in a midsizer. The result is a zero to 60 dash in 6.3 seconds, while the Platinum will still tow up to 5,000 pounds. The torquey 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder from the refreshed 23 Highlander serves as the base engine. Also shared with the existing three row is the 2.5 liter hybrid setup. Both are available with the choice of front or all wheel drive in America. Toyota didn't quote performance figures for either, but we expect them to line up with the Highlander. So 265 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque for the turbo with 243 horsepower and 175 pound feet for the hybrid. Toyota does estimate that the Grand Highlander hybrid will be capable of 34 miles per gallon combined. However, that's just two miles per gallon worse than the regular Highlander hybrid. The interior evolves a cleaner design direction Toyota debuted in the Mirai and Crown. The dashboard features a small shelf ahead of the passenger with a dedicated USB-C charging port. A wider center console is altogether cleaner in execution with three cup holders and Toyota's latest pint-sized shifter. A sliding lid opens up access to the center console storage, keeping the armrests available for, well, arms to rest. The passenger side of the transmission tunnel features a small cubby too. XLE models use Toyota Softex for the seating surfaces. Limited introduces leather to the mix. The Platinum trim comes with some snazzy bronze trim highlights too, plus heated and ventilated second row seats. As the penultimate step up the Toyota SUV ladder, the Grand Highlander comes with just about everything Toyota can offer. Useful available technology includes a digital key, a Wi-Fi hotspot, power folding mirrors, touch-free power tailgate, head-up display, 360-degree camera, and more. There's also a 100-watt power outlet in the Limited and Platinum, but if you get the hybrid models, that bumps up to a much more useful 1500 watts. The 12.3-inch touchscreen running Toyota's great new infotainment system is standard on all the trims. So that about wraps up our first hands-on preview of the 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander. What do you think? Is this a worthy addition to Toyota's vast SUV lineup, or do you think they could have pushed this a little bit more? However you feel, let us know in the comments, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more Autoguide content.